Hello everyone, my name is Jacob and today I should be building the Gloucester Meteor in Minecraft. Alright, so what is a Gloucester Meteor? Well, if you don't know, uh, it is a jet airplane uh, and uh, it is the first generation uh, jet fighter. So basically, uh, these kind of planes were developed in the very late stages of World War II and uh, just after it and uh, it's pretty much the stepping stone from piston aircraft to uh, jet aircraft uh, and uh, they're sort of a mix of the both uh, classes and uh, I've always thought these things were pretty cool uh, so this is the, uh, the British, the Royal Air Force version uh, the Gloucester Meteor is uh, there were some others uh, but I think this thing looks pretty cool uh, and uh, it's sort of right in the middle of uh, a piston uh, powered aircraft and a jet aircraft and so I decided that today we will be building one of these so here we go okay so uh, first of all uh, it is sort of an odd looking plane I'll explain it uh, a bit as we go along but uh, we have two jet engines uh, one in one on each side, so one on each wing, I guess. Uh, and then we have a fuselage in the middle, uh, and uh, that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and build it. Okay. So I'm gonna start with the front landing gear. Uh, let's just build it right here. Okay. Or actually, let's build it right there. There we go. Right behind it, we're gonna put down some nether brick fence, like so. And then we're gonna go up with some stone slabs, uh, a full block, like that. And then we're gonna put one on the left side there and one on the right side. Okay, so that's pretty much our bottom front, side, front thing. And then we're gonna extend these things uh, for about. I would say six blocks, so we have uh, three, uh, three on the front and then three on the back there, uh, so six in total, that's pretty much all of the steps you're gonna need on the bottom, uh, and then we can continue by adding uh, a stair to the top here, like so, I'm using uh, these stone brick stairs. And then we're gonna add uh, some polish them side that there we go. And then we're gonna uh, expand the fuselage. So we're gonna go uh, a block diagonally on the side like that. And then we're gonna just extend this um, for uh, like eight or actually for like seven blocks. Uh, maybe less than that. Uh, so we have, yeah, we have seven blocks. So three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. Something like that. Um, maybe that's actually too much. Let's go six, and then six blocks on the other side as well. There we go. That should be enough. Uh, I'm gonna fill in these two blocks here because otherwise there's gonna be a hole there uh, in the bottom. And of course, we do not want to have a hole in the bottom because that would be pretty bad. But anyway, uh, we're gonna continue by adding a tail. Uh, so it's gonna go out uh, from the middle there, and uh, we're gonna go out four blocks and a slab. Alright, so something like this uh, should do the trick. There we go. Uh, and that's pretty much the bottom of our fuselage done. Uh, this isn't a very big plane. Uh, it is uh, a fighter plane, uh, if I didn't say before. Uh, there weren't many made actually. I think just over a thousand possibly. Um, so I guess it wasn't um, a very widespread uh, airplane. But it was sort of a... Um, stepping stone and uh, a test bed I guess for technologies uh, to come anyway uh, let's go ahead and uh, continue with the top part of the fuselage so first of all oops, uh, let's put on a 
a cockpit glass here so we're gonna go for two blocks of glass uh, just on the front there there we go uh, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and put down some stone brick stairs right behind that that should be nice uh, I didn't say this was a single seater um, there were some uh, two seater versions uh, later I believe um, but yeah okay so we have this uh, and then we're gonna continue by adding some stone brick slabs to the top here so we're gonna form a nice little uh, ridge sort of thing uh, let's move those so we're gonna leave a gap there at the end for the uh, tail fin okay so we have the front part of the fuselage pretty much done let's do the tail let's finish it up so we're gonna use some more parts and decide and put up a nice tail there like so and then we're gonna have some uh, some uh, horizontal stabilizers that, that are gonna be sort of on the top of this block here so on the top of the bottom block of the vertical stabilizer if that make, if that makes sense probably doesn't but anyway uh, so we're gonna have a one slab there and we have two slabs uh, right behind it and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side just like so uh, and we have a nice tail going on there uh, that's pretty good uh, and uh, we're gonna need some wings if you want this thing to fly so um, let's go ahead and build some so first of all we're gonna use some stone slabs for the wings uh, and uh, we're gonna make them three slabs uh, thick uh, so uh, three slabs wide I should say and uh, we're gonna go ahead and put some slabs on the bottom side of uh, these blocks here uh, I said three so let's do that and uh, we're gonna start at the back of the canopy there okay so we're just gonna go for one row uh, for, uh, at the beginning and then we're gonna add some parts on the side uh, we're gonna build the jet engine now so at the back I'm gonna put down a skeleton skull and at the front I'm gonna put down a dispenser there we go uh, and then we're gonna put down some stone brick slabs at the bottom but not at the back so three there and leave a gap at the back there Okay, and then we're, we're gonna continue the wing just like so. We're gonna go two blocks out uh, like so, and then we're gonna go two more on the middle and one more at the front, and uh, leave a gap of two at the back, and that should pretty much do for the wing. Uh, these are not uh, swept wings by any mean. Uh, they are sort of um, just normal piston engine wings, so straight wings. Uh, because I guess uh, swept wings weren't a thing back there, uh, back then when they were building these things. So, uh, yeah, as I said, it is a stepping stone and a middle ground between a piston engine and a jet engine. And uh, it's pretty cool. So let's build the other wing as well. So uh, we're gonna do the same thing again. Go for a, a row of three slabs, uh, and then go for some polish down the side. Uh, on the front, put a dispenser, and on the back, a skeleton skull. There we go. Uh, and then we're gonna go uh, make a two row patch of wing there and then we're gonna go two blocks out in the middle and one block out at the front there we go hopefully these are symmetrical and uh, the last thing to, to do would be to add some landing gear uh, under the wings so let's go ahead and do that so the landing gear is sort of uh, right underneath the jet engines so in the middle here right underneath the wing I'm gonna put down a wheel there we go and then um, on the front of that we're gonna put down another fence like so 
we're gonna have uh, I didn't put the uh, stone uh, slabs there so let's do that so this sort of uh, reduces the space between the wing and the, uh, the landing gear which is sort of cool so anyway uh, we've put the slabs there so we're gonna have to put another one right above the uh, fence post so it sort of connects to that and uh, to the wheel that way and of course we're gonna have to do the same thing on the other side so put down a fence uh, so put down a wheel first I guess and then put on a fence post right next to it and on top of the fence post we're gonna put a stone brick slab and there we go okay so uh, this has been a quick and nice build of a very cool and interesting airplane uh, so a sort of a stepping stone between uh, sort of old and modern technology uh, and uh, the meteorite is pretty cool so anyway thank you very much for watching uh, if you like this video you can press the like button and subscribe to my channel you can also check out my other videos uh, you can see I have a lot of vehicles here so uh, again thank you very much for watching and uh, I will see you next time